All right, guys, so at our new house, we still have no internet. So we chose to go with Starlink internet. Uh, it seems like the hot thing that everybody's talking about, and we wanted to see what the buzz was all about. So we're gonna, today's gonna be two things. We're gonna show you how to install it, and then we're going to break down the cost. How much was the initial setup? How much did it cost to get this stuff? And then what is the monthly cost? So let's get into the video. By the way, before you even purchase your Starlink, you can download the app, go up on your roof or wherever you're going to set it up and scan the sky and see if it's suitable for that location. Obviously, if you're in the middle of the woods and there's no way of even seeing the sky, then it's probably not a good idea for you. So make sure that you do that before you even order it. Okay, so let's unbox it and see what it comes like inside. So we're just gonna open this up. And inside, whoa. It's nothing. There's nothing inside. I'm kidding. I think that's a casing. All right. Let's go. There's a little ch stand. Here's the dish itself. Not gonna lie. It's got a little bit of... Oh, okay. That's protective coverage on it. I was gonna say it's a little bit beat up. So that's the dish itself. Um, then it's got a little modem here with absolutely no buttons on it at all. <laughs> okay, and then we got a whole bunch of wire, plug, and then some papers. This is literally your instructions. So you have to set it up. Don't move it because I I saw an installation video on this. So it's going to kind of find its own thing. You just got to set it up. So then you just have to run that wire from your dish to your uh, little router. And then from router, you just plug it in. And then everything else will happen inside our app. Um, so we'll have to go up on our roof and find the best, most exposed spot that we can, all right? So let's go up on our roof. All right, so right off the bat, there's no screws. We have no screws for this to drill into the roof. So we're going to do a quick little montage of going to the hardware store and getting appropriate screws. Let's go. We're up on our roof right now and I'm trying to find the best spot for our Starlink location. And there is an app that you open up and then you scan the sky to see what is the best location here. All right, so we, there is no perfect spot on our property for the Starlink location. So what we're gonna do is just set it up in the best spot that we could, and that's right here. Uh, we will be clearing some trees here in the next months to come. So we will get to some of these bushier trees that are sticking out. Plus in the winter, when all the leaves drop, all of this should be way open. So we're not too concerned about that, but we really have no choice. So we're just gonna go ahead with that and see how it goes. All right, so we're up on the roof here, and this is where I'm going to set it. Right here. This is All right, so I'm going to use a quarter inch drill bit to drill my holes because I'm going to use quarter inch um, bolts in here. All right, so we got our four holes drilled. Now I just gotta drill my hole here for the actual wire coming up. And this hole is kind of fat. So it will be a bigger type of hole because we have to fit about a half inch thick wire through it. All right, now, now I'm going to, ah, oh, that's so hot. Don't do this in the middle of the day. We're doing it. Um, now, <laughs> wear gloves maybe? Now I'm gonna send my wife up into the into the attic to feed the, the wire up this way. And then we're gonna connect it from up here and uh, kind of set the screws in. 
All right, so we have this whole spool over here. Uh, so Catherine's going to go into the attic with the spool, feed this end, can I see it? Feed this end to me, to the antenna. And then this one is gonna get fed down to the router. And then the spool is just gonna be left inside our attic. So she's gonna go into that hot attic over there, feed this up there. No joke though, as she's getting into that attic, you do this in the evening or very, very early in the morning. The whole process is probably gonna take about hour and a half to set up, maybe an hour. But the roof is scorching right now. I want to get this over with because it's the only time I have to do it. But if you have flexibility in your time, do it at appropriate time in the day because it gets hot on the roof. There it is. You had it. The push, push. Yeah. Okay, that's it. You can, <laughs> you can run away from there. Thank you. All right, so this wire will go through our stand here. So I'm gonna get my screws here and feed my screws now down into the attic this way. So we have our roof roof uh, tar here. So it's a waterproof asphalt seal. At the same time, I'm just going to get this plugged in. Um, this way I can just seal it from down here and it will be good to go. So this does have a way that you can put it in, just like that. Feed that down. This, that locks it in. Do not touch the dish itself. It will find um, its own direction that it needs to on its own. All right, same thing with this hole here. We're going to just fill that in the best that we can. I'm happy with that. So we are all sealed from here. Do not touch the dish itself. Now we just gotta go into the attic, secure it, and then we gotta drill the hole downstairs and plug it in. All right, so right now we're just going to drill a hole up here and just feed the wire down from the attic through here. Eventually, we're part of our renovation. We're going to be doing some cool built-in stuff and we'll have a special box for it. But for the time being, we're just going to go for it and drill a hole here and poke our wire. All right, so now I'm up in the attic. I got to feed this wire down into that hole right there. Got that wire fed. Now I just got to get the little nuts over here and then bolt them in from this side. So it doesn't go anywhere. All right, so we got our spool. One side's going up the roof. The other one is going into our room. The spool just stays in the attic. Gonna go. All right, so Catherine's gonna go to turn it on. And I wanna be up here and record the process of this thing kind of starting to spin around apparently and trying to find the, the satellite. So let's see how it goes. So all in, it costs us $649 to buy it itself and have it delivered. And then it will cost us $110 monthly in order to use this service itself. All right, so now that you guys saw how to install this, now let me talk about pricing and how much did it cost and what does it cost monthly for us to do? After this, once you plug it in, it kind of finds the satellite, whatever it does. Go into your app, follow those couple of steps, and then you can hook it right up. Super, super simple. Uh, all in, this should have taken you about an hour, maybe a little bit more. For us, it took us a little bit longer because we had to mess around with tripods or whatnot. Try not to do this by yourself. Two people definitely helps. And the biggest advice I can give you, do this later in the evening or very early in the morning because it's super, super hot out here and probably borderline dangerous. So don't do it this way. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next remodel.